Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's go. The moon is in Leo. Let's go. The moon just left Cancer, and it's currently in Leo. So when the moon is in Cancer, there is a real need for nurturing. There's a real need for protection, whether you're you're feeling protected in your universe or feeling very protective of other people that you've given uh, in your in your that you've given access to your universe. And then that moon in Leo is going to really really help you to assert yourself to make sure you are telling people exactly what you need, how you need you feel you need to be nurtured in your universe. And if they are either unwilling or unable to do it, unwilling or refuse to do it you're releasing them in love let's go all right the god card we also have healing we have ace of pentacles the queen of cups and also the king of swords you are releasing everything in your universe that has a god complex even if it's within you and you're healing any arrogance any being dogmatic and prideful sarcasm all of that you're releasing all of that a lot of times a God complex can come across as subtle too. like, you know, I can save other people. And remember, none of us have the power to save other people because none of us are other people's gods. So it's better for you to say, okay, I don't need to manipulate a person if they want access to my universe. I don't need to manipulate them with money. I don't need to manipulate them with sarcasm. I don't need to try to play mental games. Either they have it to nurture me or they don't. If I tell them what I need to nurture me and they're unwilling to, to do it or they just can't do it, that's okay too. I need to release them in love, right? So here we have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Cups. This is where the compassion comes in. Like, you know, sometimes people just don't, I think everybody has dated people like that, Sagittarius, you know, or befriended people like that. It's just like, we're just not on the same frequency, Imagine you being a very fun sign and you are friends with people who, you know, go to a party and they just wallflowers, right? Let's say you're a person who loves to dance and have a great time. And every time you go, you're trying to have fun. Somebody's a Debbie Downer. It's always like, well, no, this is not my speed. I'll just kind of stand around and watch everybody. After a while, it's like, okay, get out, have some fun, you know, you know, loosen up a little bit. Or let's say every time you want to travel, you, you all are a sign that really likes a lot of Sagittarius love to travel. And they, it's always a reason why they can't, you know, that just may not be your, it, it may not be your person. It may not be the member of your soul tribe. And so before you complain about them or talk about them, sources just said, just release them. It's okay. They'll find their tribe just like you're fine yours. So I do see the king of swords here. Somebody is definitely becoming a lot wiser and more knowledgeable about things and no longer lamenting over things. It's like, it, it's, it, it is what it is. I have compassion for whatever it is. That's the beauty of you all being mutable signs too, is that you learn how to adapt to situations a lot sooner. You may have found out some information about somebody and said, oh, I didn't know that. You know, let me, let me switch gears here. Let me move on. You know, let me, let me kind of sort of start the healing process myself. Sometimes what will give people a, heal, a, a God complex is them making more money than you do or a person being older than you are can give them a God complex or a person who has more education than you do. And so not to say that that's a default that some people are by default, you know, because they have more money. They think they're your God or that because they want to they have a certain level of education. That's not always the case, but I'm saying on the low end. It could happen. Like this somebody saying that age equates to wisdom. I know more than you do because I've been living longer. That is absolutely not true. So whatever it is, somebody is saying, I got to look at myself first to see, you know, do I have a God complex? And if I do, maybe I need to check myself, you know, and have compassion for situations so that I can, you know, I can move on from some things. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. So here we have the six of swords. We have the two of cups. We also have the five of pentacles, the, the hangman, the hierophant card, and also the six of wands. And five of pentacles, somebody's definitely been emotionally wounded, like, you know, trying to decide, you know, like, you know, the emotions have been a little down, you know, feeling some kind of way, maybe some kind of insecurities or something. And so finally, somebody may have decided I need to move on and I'm not looking back, you know, I'm disappointed, you know, but I, I need to move on and not look back. And I do see soulmate energy in your path. So 
look up so you can look up because maybe soulmate is what somebody needs right about now somebody pouring fresh water maybe you need somebody to travel with or to hang out with or party with or whatever but you won't see him if your head is down and you're lamenting over something you had to leave behind here we have the hangman somebody may also be feeling a little guilty for prejudging somebody and not just not knowing the full story but whatever it is now you have an innate spiritual understanding of something and you can move on and I do see you victoriously moving on. So whatever it is, sometimes we, we uh, misjudge people. We don't know. and But now that you do know, somebody says, I learned whatever lesson I needed to learn. I can move on in love. I can move on in love. I can move on in love. Yep, let's get ready to close it out. Again, happy midweek Wednesday. Find out exactly what nurtures your spirit, Sagittarius. And you can do that in water or around water, a body of water, a pool, a lake, a stream, a pond. Something that's going to kind of calm your fire down and have you in receiving mode. You know, water has a way through the vibration of sound to come in through your ear gate and eye gate. You want information to flow to you like water. You want money. You want love. You want resources you want the voice of god to flow to you like water and so it's hard to do that when you constantly got your blowtorch out assuming the worst always taking action always doing something so so a lot of information is coming to somebody so i see reframe this is happening for me not to me so god is giving somebody a gift of like knowing when to settle down and nurture yourself so that you're not expecting for people to know that, you know, before they leave your life, they need to make a big announcement. Some people are just like, you know, I feel emotionally drained and I need to move on. You may not even know what you did, but that's what self-forgiveness is for. So source is saying, forgive yourself, but move on from something. Just move on. Self-worship. 37, my hands fold as I speak to the stars, watching as the sky holds its breath. It's in stillness that I find that I am, and I am all of divinity within me. That's right. Everything that we need is inside of us. Everything that's outside in that earth mimics everything inside of us. This earth is surrounded by seven, about 70% 70 of water, about a little bit less than, a little bit more than 70% of water. Same thing with inside of us. We have earth, air, water, and fire inside of us. Everything we need, even that sun out there reflects the sun within us, right? That moon affects, reflects the moon within us, our sun sign, our moon sign. You got all the planetary alignments within you. So if you need something, go within where source is, right? And so that's what's like, you know, somebody may have been feeling emotionally wounded because they could have felt for any reason. You could have felt abandoned. Some of you could have felt like, you know, money could have played a role or, or it, it, you know, money could have played a role in something. So source is like... Focus on your healing right now. Focus on your healing, you know, and make sure you are not operating from a, a God complex. That's everybody. Make sure you're not operating in God complex. You know, that's how I think we've all experienced that in the workplace. And we've had managers to abuse their power or people in the leadership positions to abuse their power. You're like, wow, this person really is egotistical. Hmm. <laughs> right. So anyway death to the ego that's right death to that ego of edging god out somebody is really focusing on healing right now right so anyway here we have the king of swords and so this is a person who is knowledgeable and very wise we also have the five and four of swords so i do see somebody getting their rest like doing more meditation that's kind of like resting your eyes and just envisioning your life the way that you're using your words and your intellect in a very um friendly and very welcoming way so it's two energies in particular that somebody has just like god, god said well, i want you to drop the swords it's two energies that somebody is still kind of in that if i see them or if i talk to them i'm gonna give them the same energy they're giving me sources like drop all of that it doesn't show weakness it actually shows strength because you're you're more you're knowledgeable and you're wise about a situation only time people, act, for the most part, a lot of times people act like that when they put so much negative energy out into the universe, they're wondering if that and if they, that energy went out there and if they are going to be attacked. Sources like put all of that down. So here we have Ace of Wands, your third eye is wide open. And then also the Four of Cups. So somebody could definitely be ruminating on something and sources like you don't need to ruminate, just have compassion. If you happen to see some energies that you may have said some things prematurely about, Again, it should be all love. You ain't got to be phony, walking up to people, showing all your teeth and all of that other stuff. 
you just like I said before, you can speak and keep it moving. You can keep if, if you feel like speaking and just keep it moving. Don't let other people irritate you around you. Oh, I thought you didn't like I thought you didn't get along with that person. I thought you didn't like them. I thought you said this, that, and the other about them. Just keep it moving. Just speak and keep it moving. The end of a rough cycle approaches. So there's going to be some kind of a hatchet that is buried. But also be be prepared for if, you know, some things were said and information got back to people that they are not receptive. Because, again, we are not other people's God. We cannot force anybody to heal sooner and, and to assume that people are holding on to a grudge. We don't. You know, we none of us know what people are going through. Some people are so hurt for them they could be contemplating, you know, leaving this world. So to to tell a person they need to get over something is incredibly insensitive. It's like somebody's telling you to get over to some so source is saying spend some alone time near water, pool, beach, lake, stream, pond, and see things through another through another lens. A lens of compassion. All right. Let's get ready to close it out, Sagittarius. Let's get ready to close it out. Courage. Affirmations for courage. All things are working out in my favor. I have the power to rebuild myself. I am not my circumstances. I rise regardless of my past. I honor myself through my actions. I honor my truth through my words. I am stronger than yesterday. That's right. Let's see what your number is and let's close it out. Let's see what your number is and let us close it out. 1010. I am patient. Keep your thoughts positive, Sagittarius, and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. Because they are. Because they are. That is what I have for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.